You've so been I'm, really into this your entire life. I can really tell that you've just been yeah. absolutely like yeah. really like, into it your entire life. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I'm still into it more than ever, probably. Yeah, yeah. When you got over to the UK, did you come straight to London when you yeah. came back from LA? Yeah. yeah. That's it. I got uh, my brother was playing with a band called the Alan Parsons Project. Right. Uh, and uh, he called me up. The bass player went off to do another gig, and he said, "Do you fancy having a crack at this?" And oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Just uh, after doing three years of just touring about in California and bumming about playing jazz, thought, oh yeah, yeah. A nice, nice challenge to do something a bit more rocky, a yeah. bit different, yeah, 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 yeah. So I got into that, and uh, well, thank God they put up with me because the first few days I was really just finding my feet. Yeah. Um, but then realised what what I had to do, and uh, hopefully it sounds all right. They were happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And but from that, that led to so many other things, studio work, because uh, the drummer in that, I think he did, uh, he, he had some uh, hookup with Eric Clapton. Uh, so when a spot uh, where Eric's bass player wasn't around, he said, you fancy going and doing this? So then I went down and did this session with the Bee Gees that Eric was on. And then Amazing. Uh, Barry Gibbs said, oh, I'm in Beckinsfield, come over, we'll write some stuff. So I went over to Barry's house and we had, uh, we did some playing over there and wrote some stuff and then, yeah, just it kind of uh, word do you of think mouth. That's, yeah, do you think that's played a, like a big part in your career? Like word of mouth, just meeting guys Definitely. and going and working yeah. with them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's like if way. people are listening to this, do you think, would you recommend that they get out there as much as possible and meet as many musicians oh, as definitely. possible? Yeah, that's the only way to do it. Nobody's going to book you if they haven't heard you. I just got a text this morning. I'll show it to you. Um, it's some drummer who I've, I've never heard, I've never played with, never seen. Yeah. It, I, well, I have seen him, but he's come to gigs, but I've never seen him play. Yeah. And he sent me a message asking if I can get him some sessions. Well, I don't know how he plays like. He yeah. says, I've done one session with a singer that I know. Yeah. Um, but I have no idea. He just asked me to get him some sessions, but so obviously not going to happen because you know. <laughs> I asked him to get me some sessions. Yeah. <laughs> see if he, we'll see what he comes back with. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. No, but of course you've got to let everybody hear yeah. you play. And when I came back here in the in the eighties, there was uh, some great jam sessions. I think uh, I don't know if it happens now. There was a club near here called the Bass Clef. Oh, there used okay, to be a yeah. jam session there. There was a club called the 606, which are a late hours, yeah, after yeah, hours. Yeah. There'd be loads of people playing. That's where I met um, Mornington Lockett and the Stacey Brothers that we got yeah. a band together and played. So everybody who was on the scene in our age, we were in our 20s, I guess. We all knew what everybody played like and if somebody yeah, was appropriate yeah. for some gig, something you'd, you'd call them. But uh, I mean, there's all of this network thing that goes around these days where nobody knows uh, how people play so yeah, yeah. i don't know if there is a scene where there is a jam session so I, every advice i give to guys is to go and play get out and play yeah, yeah, yeah. let people hear you and hook up especially for a drummer it's great to hook up with a bass player similar age into the same yeah, thing absolutely yeah you yeah because like you, well you and ian thomas like when yeah. did that happen because that every is, gig yeah, i saw you on was with ian thomas yeah, for a few years yeah you know? oh we were a great team 1986 i think was the first album that we did i met yeah. in the studio in uh, greenford we did a, a sort of Latin jazz album, and he's from he's from Cardiff originally. I'm from Swansea. Oh, right, I don't okay. know if that has yeah, something yeah. to do with it, but I think I just the musical tastes were the same, and we liked a lot of the same things, and we played a lot together. We were, you know, still keen on developing our musicianship and our technique. And did you work on each with, oh, with, totally. with each yeah, other? Totally. You actually talked about sort of oh, like yeah, the things yeah. you're trying out and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. We do little, you know, exercises. We play something and say, oh, what was that? He'd say, oh, that was a little five thing. Oh, let's work on that. Let's play yeah. two bars of four and then play uh, the that, five group yeah. and just looping things. I think it's really important for people listening to this and watching it, obviously, that, you know, they understand that the work never stops really. That, you know, the, the shedding, the sort of like experimentation. So oh, yeah, like, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't think you ever get to a situation where you think, oh, that's it, I'm there. Well, I think some guys do. 